I'm good. I think, I think I'm good. Bro, I need an intro for like truck videos. If y'all have any good ideas for like intros on truck videos, I need them in the comment section down below. So hit me up. Yo, what's up everybody? It's your boy Trey D at Trey D's Kicks coming to you live from the vehicle and I am in a parking lot right now. I am basically coming to y'all so I can give y'all an update on the Ram 1500 Hemi. I guess I need to stop saying Hemi, man. It is, it is a 5.7 liter, but uh, I need to stop saying the Hemi. It is a Ram 1500. This is a two wheel drive. Now, before you guys even start, all you four wheel drive truck people, this is a two-wheel drive and yes i did put a lift on a two-wheel drive why did you put a lift on a two-wheel drive because i don't need a four-wheel drive that's 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 it but the good news is if you really 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 want me to have a four-wheel drive and put a lift on it feel free to reach in your pocket your bank account your savings account your checking account whatever you got 401k whatever you got and buy me one you know what I'm saying? Buy me one if you really want me to have one that bad, man. Otherwise, I'm sticking to this two-wheel drive. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, man, now that that is out of the way, your boy is actually coming to y'all because I am going to give y'all the in-depth or basically the review on the Max Track lift. And I, I keep looking around. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm not looking straight at the camera. But I am giving y'all a basic review on the max track lift now i have actually driven this vehicle probably a little over 204 miles it's 204 miles right now since i have filled up last and it is on half it's on half if y'all can see that right here it's on i know that's not focusing i don't know why that's not focusing but anyway it's on half and don't mind hold on let me see if they'll focus don't mind the the sensor right here but i can go ahead and actually give you all this review on the truck now let me go ahead and say this man i did not get fox shocks or anything like that but i did go with the max track uh shocks and they actually ride really good man i can't tell the difference between this and stock so it rides really well man if not better then stock i would not be surprised if it's better than stock i'm like i said i've only driven like 200 miles but i can't tell the difference man so i'm really pleased with that and so there's somebody pulled up behind me right now I'm, i was looking in the mirror anyway man oh we got an ss got an ss come here all right so off top it's a little bit of a jump just getting out of the truck and like i said man i'm sorry about the sun and and whatnot but this is it right here let me give y'all like just a quick view of it real quick now these wheels and tires right here they are steel off-road I don't know if you can see that so these are steel off-road and this is actually the name of the wheel right here and these are 20 by 10s right here and like I said the caps are coming in soon and so they're just getting uh painted as well like i said man before these were black these were actually all black and they powder coated these for me now these are super dirty as you can tell they're already super dirty but i'm not tripping about that man because white is meant to get dirty you know what i'm saying white's gonna get dirty but i'm not tripping and i'm not gonna lie man i do not know the name of these tires i don't want to butcher the name but this these right here h-a-i-d-a -A. now these are the all-terrain um they're not mud tires they are not street tires but they're like a mixed like a hybrid and so i went with that as you can see the tread right here what's up oh no no uh -uh, i just i just lifted it yeah i appreciate it so i was like doing like a little review on it real quick yeah, I, I I hear the Camaro now, man. Yeah, I hear you. I like it though. 
All right, man. So as you can see, the tread right here, very good tread. Now I am uh, hearing that they should get me like 40, 40 miles. Uh, Jesus, I'm bright. Hold on, y'all. All right, so I went with the all-terrain tires just because I'm not gonna be doing any off-roading or anything like that. So I don't need the all-terrain. I mean, I don't need the mud tires or anything like that. So I went with the all-terrain and very good tires, man. They are supposed to be like the like the middle of the road type thing. And so, hold on, let me show y'all this Camaro real quick, man. Yeah, that's the Camaro right there, driving off. But it sounds good though, man. That truck sounds good. Yeah. Okay, y'all, so I should get about 40,000 miles, uh, depending on me rotating them, um, how often I rotate them, but I should get 40,000 miles off of them. Sorry for the wind. But um, now, Texas Tire actually does do a uh, lifetime rotate and balance and everything, man. So uh, shout out to Texas Tire, shout out to Yusuf, shout out to Primo for getting me this deal uh, on the, the whole thing. Now, I just paid for the lift kit as well as the tires and the rims i just pay for the whole thing a little tip if you go in there with cash you'll get a better deal so cash hey money talks man you know what i'm saying let's go here to the upper control arm and as you can see it actually sits like at factory right here i'm gonna see if i can get in there real quick for y'all so this is what it looks like it actually pretty pretty much sits at factory you can see all right here looks good all right and like I said it rides really good let's go ahead and look check out the stance right here let's see if y'all can see this this is the stance right there on how it looks from the back just so y'all can see how far the tires actually stick out. So I don't actually need the fender flares unless I just really want them. But that's how far the tires actually stick out on here. And these tires are 35s. Um, I went with the 35s just, I went with the 35s just because I didn't want to worry about the rubbing or anything like that. And let's go to the back right here. You can't see that is right here this is a max track shot right here and then these are the aftermarket springs that actually came in with them so they do not use your stock springs these are aftermarket springs uh, for max track and of course for your sway sway link right there as well so this is what it looks like in the back and as you can see if y'all can see that right there that is a max track they have to put a spacer at the bottom just so it can get that level look right there so that is the bottom and this is the back of the truck right here all in all man i am definitely happy with this lift and i'm starting to get used to it it's a it's a bit of a change just from driving it and so like i said i drive a little bit more carefully i don't hit the gas as much uh like i used to just because the gas actually is it goes down a lot quicker i noticed it already it goes down a lot quicker um i did not show y'all this real quick this is the spindle because on a two-wheel drive it's a spindle right here so I don't know if y'all can see that logo right there, but that is the Max Track logo. And it is seven inches higher. Let me go ahead and measure it out for y'all. I'm gonna go ahead and measure it out for y'all just so y'all can see. Uh, but I think I started out, I gotta look at the other video that I'm uh, that I'm actually about to post right now. But um, I think I started out with 36 inches, 36 inches. 
from the ground to here. So let me see what it is right now. Oh, wait, hold on. All right, so that's about 43 and a half. And what did I start out at? 36 ish. So 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43. There you go. There's your seven. There's just seven inches right there. Um, and I'm glad I actually didn't go with the six inch lift. Um, one inch actually does make a difference. If you don't know, ask your girl. Uh, but on the back, it should be level. Let me look at this too. Yeah. So if I'm looking right at it, man, it's about 43 and a half as well. Give or take, man, but it is level. Definitely happy with this lift as a whole, man. It looks great. Um, I feel I feel better. I feel definitely, I feel a lot better having this lift. Um, I can see it turning heads. Like I said, man, I wanted to go with white rims just because everybody has black rims, man. And so, look at this joint, man. White on white. Can't go wrong, man. Look at that. Look at this, man. Definitely, definitely nice truck. Now, I'll definitely be back at y'all once I get the caps for these joints. Like I said, they're still getting painted uh, just because they had to get powder coated. Like I said, these wheels were black. And I wanted this, if y'all see this part right here. Y'all see this? I don't know what this is actually called, but I knew it was like a little bit of chrome. So that's why I wanted white wheels uh, with the little chrome accents, just because I still have chrome bumpers. You know what I mean? And I got to step up. All right, man, that's a big difference, dude. September, still hot. Anyway, man, y'all let me know what y'all think. Y'all let me know if there's something else that y'all wanna see as well, but I think that's pretty much it as far as the review should go. Uh, but like, if I miss something, man, y'all definitely let me know and I will cover it in another video as well. So. Your boy is about to get out of here, man. I definitely appreciate everybody watching, man. If you are not already subscribed to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button for your boy. Hit that notifications bell for your boy if you are already subscribed to the channel. But if you like what you see, hit that thumbs up for your boy as well. Your boy is about to get out of here, man. Leave comments in the comment section. Your boy is always in the comment section, man. So with all of that being said,